With a new storm and 80 million Americans facing a wintry mess, take a look at the video coming in to us. A pile up in Wisconsin. One car ricochets down the icy highway, causing a chain reaction. And that driver in Texas who narrowly misses slabs of ice hurtling toward the ground. ABC's Extreme Weather Team is tracking it all tonight, and weather editor Ginger Z starts us off. Tonight, almost the entire nation is in the perilous grip of winter come early. This is uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. In California, chilling winds, and all the way to New England, several ice inspired spin outs. This is Interstate 91. We're going south to New Haven, but you can see what's happened on the northbound side. All that ice on top of trees, on top of the road, and a huge backup. Over the weekend, deadly collisions. Near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, watch this traffic camera catching the entire pileup. Car after car crashing into each other. In New York, a mangled mess. It's like a hockey ring right now. And in Texas, the inches of ice that kept David Doherty, his wife, and toddler stuck in the car for 26 hours. I have been sitting in the same spot. I have not moved one foot from exit 380 in 11 hours. Okay. I've tried calling the police department. I've tried calling everybody. And I can't even hardly get anyone to answer the phone. Officials telling us they were simply overwhelmed by the ice. If you find yourself stuck in your car, here are some tips that could save your life. First, make sure your tailpipe is clear of mud, snow, any of that. You could get carbon monoxide poisoning. Also, that emergency kit, oh so important, and you've got to keep it fresh. Finally, stay in your car. Don't go wandering. It is your best protection. Idling uses about half a gallon of gas an hour, so a 15-gallon tank could last up to 30 hours. But run your engine only long enough to remove the chill. Idling too long can lead to fumes in the car. And it wasn't all just on the roads. In Texas, look at these wild sheets of ice flying off the top of a building. Tonight in Chicago, the bundling has begun at Soldier Field. We've got battery-powered socks, we've got gloves, we've got hand warmers, you name it, we have it. And they'll need it. Temps tonight in the teens, wind chill near zero. Mother Nature challenging us all with quite the offense. And here we go again, another storm to talk about. Let's get straight to the map. This is for the overnight, early morning, going to be a mess for parts of the mid-Atlantic and northeast. We're talking some two to four inches for a lot of folks. Washington, D.C., when you're going to work, Philadelphia, New York, it's all going to start building through the morning and early afternoon. And that's just the beginning of it. Of course, that cold behind. You saw the forecast in Chicago. Those folks need to remember one thing that we forget so often in the cold. Hydrate, avoid the caffeine and alcohol, and just chug water. Diane. Okay, thanks so much.